everybody, I'm Pratima Adhikari and if you have not guessed by the title of today's video, yes, we are building a PC. I had been planning for this video for a very long time and finally it's coming into play. So um, this is going to be a budget gaming slash editing PC for around $675 or 60 to 65,000 rupees in India. So um, these are my components. We have the Intel Core i5-12400F CPU and I have paired it with an Intel GPU itself. We have the Intel Arc A750. I've always wanted to make an all Intel build and finally it's here. I know a lot of you guys must be wondering why I have chosen to go with an Intel Arc GPU but if reviews on YouTube are to be trusted, this one has better performance than RTX 3050 or even the Ryzen RX 6600 XT so I was really interested to check this out which is why I have included this one and for for motherboard, we have the MSI B760MP. This is a micro ATX motherboard. We have our um Okay, so we have our air cooler. We are using an air cooler, obviously, for the budget. We have this one from Deepcool. And then for PSU, we're using a 650 watt uh, PSU from Thermaltake. This one has extremely good reviews, so I wanted to go with this. And all of this is going inside this micro ATX casing, which is from MSI. So for RAM, we're using uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of XPG RAM each. And these have a speed of 3600 megahertz, so this should do fine for us. Next for SSD, we're using this one from Lexar. It's the NM610 Pro. You can also go for the non-pro variant if you'd like, but uh, we're going with this one. We've actually been using this one in our editing PC and it's working fine. So my choice. So with this, let's just get building then. Let's start. All right, so here we have our mother board. As I said, it's the B760. So I basically went with this one because it was well under our budget. It was for 12,000 rupees, which is the best price for this motherboard. It's a micro ATX motherboard, by the way. And um, the things I like about it are number one, it has four RAM slots and two SSD slots, which we don't get in a lot of uh, budget motherboards. And one of the best things is the fact that it has ample VRM as well as an M.2 shield. So that really comes handy because we're using that um, SSD. Let's just start building then. We have our processor right Right here okay all right so going in with our processor we have the 12400 F but you can also go with the 1200 uh, if you find it for around 12,000 rupees that would be the best deal but for our budget this one seems fine everything seems aligned so uh, let's go in with our RAM sticks So going in with our SSD. Next, we go in with our cooler. But before that, let's apply some thermal paste. So this is from a different company and one of my favorites. It's from a brand called Noctua. And it's extremely good. So you don't need to use a lot. Just make sure you have some. And that's it. People like to make different shapes and sizes, but it's just going to go in anyway, so no problem with that. So as I said, we're using the AK400 by um, Deep Cool. So let's go in with our air cooler now. All right, so finally, cooler is done. My least favorite part. Okay, next step, put this into the casing. And now we're going with the PSU. This is a 650 watt PSU 80 plus bronze rated because gold did not fit in our budget, but this is just as fine. All right, so cable management done. It looks very nice and good. Uh, now let me just cover this one up and then we will uh, put in our GPU. All right, so uh, GPU. Okay, everybody. So we have the star of the show, the Intel Arc A750. Uh, here. Okay, everybody, we are at towards the end. All I need to do is 
plug in our GPU and that's all. And then again, the moment of the truth because this PC needs to turn on as well. Okay, done. So let's cover this up and let's see if it actually turns on. All right, plugged in the power cable, turning it on and one, two, three. Okay, <laughs> for the millionth time. Ta-da! Everything works. Everything is working. Okay, this fan was not working before. So here we have our PC. So this is basically a budget gaming slash editing PC. So I need to test it out. This is the first time I am testing an Intel Arc GPU. So I'm very excited to test out the games. Although there still are a few YouTube channels that say most of the games are not optimized. But I will test that and I will be back. So um, see you on the other side. Okay, everybody. So we have set up our PC, corrected our peripherals. So now it's time to test it, uh, test how good our PC build is. So we're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to play a few games and then see how much FPS we get. The games that we're going to play, some of them are really intensive games and some of them are not. And uh, second, we're also going to do a video rendering test and see how fast this PC can render one of my videos that is going to be uploaded on my channel. So let's check that. I've also run a couple of benchmarks um, and I'll show you that too at the end. Right now, let's play. We've opened Valorant right here. We have set the resolution to 1080p and then graphics quality to high. So let's see how much FPS we get right here. Let's start the game. Ready, start. All right, so we are into the game and we're playing at high settings. The graphics look crisp and clear and the gameplay is really smooth. 165, 1% low, 310 FPS, not bad at all, not bad. Gameplay is so smooth, no stutters, nothing whatsoever. I am happy about the gameplay on this theme right now. I am dead. FPS numbers are hovering around 300, it's now 295, but this is not bad because 1% lows is 154, which is more than enough for Valorant and this is good gameplay. Alright, so after getting a very good gameplay on Valorant, now we're moving on to CSGO and let's see what we can do there. Okay, so moved on to Counter-Strike 2. Let's review the settings once. We are going to... Okay, 1080p. Okay, it's good. 143 hertz refresh rate. All right, never mind. Advanced video. Everything at high. Because this is not a very demanding game, so it should be all right. Very high. Not just high, but very high. <laughs> Let's see how much FPS we get. Otherwise, we can always dial down the settings. Not an issue. So, uh, we are getting around 144 average FPS and 101% low. Not bad at all. I got killed by a butcher. <laughs> okay, never mind. But the FPS numbers are good and the graphics quality and everything looks great. So, I won't complain about that. Killed one person, finally, and got killed again by Mango. <laughs> Never mind. So, but the FPS numbers are very stable and I'm happy about that. Look at the 1% low, it's 100 and 101, which is great. And we're playing at the highest of settings possible. Alright, so we're playing Forza Horizon 5. So 1080p is our resolution. And then we have a frame rate of 144 FPS because this is 144 hertz monitor. We can't go beyond. And uh, motion blur is off. I do not want any kind of motion blur. Graphics. Uh, let's set everything to extreme or ultra. This is a heavy game, so let's set it to ultra. And then if anything fluctuates, we will uh, dial down the settings. All right. So now our adventure begins. Okay, so we're playing Forza Horizon and you can see that we have an average frame rate of 104 FPS, which is not bad. We are getting a 1% low of 84 FPS, 
which is commendable i would say and we're playing at ultra settings by the way i hit another car oh my god <laughs> please do not judge my driving skills i am much worse in real life okay never mind never mind fps number still stable graphics quality is good 1080p gaming everything is running smoothly i don't see any kind of stutters so i am impressed slow down slow down slow down slow down oh oh my god see in this game i either play well or i play absolutely garbage and right now it's about to be absolutely garbage Oh no. But even though my gameplay is not good, we're getting extremely good FPS in ultra settings. I was not expecting this in Forza Horizon, but okay, this is not bad at all. Intel Arc A750, not bad. Oh my god, accident. Okay. Okay, let's just move forward. Um I want to lower our graphics to high and check all right, so we're getting around 142 average FPS, which is not bad at high settings. And this is a relatively heavier game, so I am impressed. 1% uh, lows is also good at 114 FPS. I am out of the track. But 115, 1% lows is great. Again, do not judge my driving skills. But yeah, I mean, for a budget PC, isn't this enough? This is more than enough i think 113 142 average fps great great i've knocked off a lot many thing, things but um yeah i think this is good gameplay especially at high settings if you want to go lower you will get better fps and now i think it's time to switch to a more heavier game and actually test how good this pc is so let's open up cyberpunk all right so we're playing cyberpunk and let's review our settings real quick let's just go all in ray tracing ultra and we're playing at an atp where is the video settings yes we're playing at an atp let's see if everything will go fine let's see how much fps we will get let's play the game and okay at ultra ray tracing settings at 1080p we're getting around 49 fps which is not bad the graphics quality is not bad there are slight jitters i would say when i am uh just going real quick in the car but the graphics quality is good not bad not bad gameplay but i think if we just lower the settings we're going to get much better gameplay also i have not been following the map so i will just turn around Oh, oh, oh. just turn around go back to the road and then okay the average fps is increasing not bad but i think we will get better fps if we just turn the settings down so i'm just going to quickly uh change the settings and then graphics to ray tracing low all right let's just do this and then let's see if we can get better fps resume let's check the fps okay so we turned down the ray tracing settings and now we're getting actually better fps 70 fps in at 1080p not a bad not a bad option but the graphics quality has reduced quite a lot so that is something we have to keep in mind uh, game is not choppy like before game is playing smooth not bad at all okay so at lower settings we're getting around 79 80 fps 81 which is not bad so let's move on to a different game i'm actually impressed with this pc because we're playing a very unoptimized game right now and the fps numbers are not bad the gameplay is smooth enough uh, i want to play one more game before i end so all right so we're playing starfield this is our last game that we are testing and let's see what all the settings are uh, 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 oh we are playing at low graphic settings everything is set to low let's see how much we can get at low graphic settings because this is the maximum that we can get okay not bad fps the gameplay is smooth enough so i would say that our pc build did pass the test 
this is a budget gaming pc and we were actually able to play most of the games games like csgo and valorant at high settings uh cyberpunk also ran at high settings but with around 40 45 fps so uh we dialed down the settings and then we were able to get around 70 fps which is not bad in a game like cyberpunk with ray tracing set at low and then starfield is also running at around 70 and average fps so i would say this pc has done a good job now it's time to test video rendering and so i am just going to quit this and load up a Premiere Pro project file that I had been working on last week. Okay, so we have opened up a project file. This is a Redmi A3 review and it's about uh, 6 minutes and 39 seconds and um, I did edit this on this PC itself uh, and this is a 4K project by the way so I'm going to try to render it and see how long it takes to render this particular uh, files okay let's render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality we don't need this high of bitrate we usually set it to 20 so i'm going to set it to 20 i'm not going to use the media encoder i'm just going to export it and we need a timer okay so export start let's see how long it takes a few moments later all right so our video has been rendered in nine minutes and 45 seconds everybody this was a 4k project file around 6.5 minutes long and uh, i want to quickly show you something i just want to show you how good a 4k project runs on this pc although it's not meant for 4k editing it's just 1080p editing the max that it can handle and you can see there is a little bit of stutter when you are trying to run a 4k project file not the most uh, smooth but we have to give it the benefit of doubt guys because this is a 4k project after all so i think the video encoding test was also a success in around 10 minutes i rendered a 6.5 minute video so yes good lastly we also ran a couple of benchmarks before we turned into playing the games and you can see on the screen that the benchmarks are very competitive very similar to what you get with the rtx 3050 or the rtx 3060 i'm especially impressed with the cross mark benchmarks which gave an overall extremely good score and then you can see geekbench uh, single core and multi-core scores are also very competitive so yes i am very proud that i chose the components of this pc and it's running very very good so yes this can very well be your 1080p gaming setup or your 1080p editing setup at a budget of around 60 to 65 thousand indian rupees or some 675 dollars all right everybody so our 1080p uh, PC build has done a very good job editing is also fine and I'm very proud of this PC build actually So yes, do let me know in the comments below if you would like to watch other PC build videos on our channel um, Saying this I'm Pratima Adhikari. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video